Hi, I'm Chuck Dorset for Weaver Leather Craft, and this is The Leather Element. If you have a question for us, drop it in the comment box below. Or if you have a good idea for a leather element, drop it in that same box. Now this week, cool topic. In fact, this is right out of left field because we never think about this, and it's a big problem for us. Now with wet forming or wet molding veg tan leather, and I love the veg because it gives us such crisp edges and corners, but the problem isn't the wet forming. The problem is the mold itself. We're not woodworkers, or most of us, so I don't have the experience or the space or the equipment to make a wood mold. But here's the cool part. We can make our molds out of leather, and you're going to be surprised how well these work. In fact, it's not just a mold. It'll do a couple of jobs for us. But we can work with leather. We have the tools for leather. So therefore, we can make some really cool patterns. And I know the wheels are starting to turn now, right? I've got four samples over here. They just scratch the surface with what we can do when we make our own molds. So let's step over here and take a look at these. Now, all my molds are made out of scrap leather. I bought it, I'm gonna use it, but most of this I would not use on a project. All right, so right here, just some basics. You know what, creativity unlimited. All right, so this is just a pouch. It's gonna go on the front of a briefcase, and there's my mold. Now I've stacked leather, contact cement in between each, but I've got all, man, there's probably some eight to nine, some six to seven, seven to eight, but it's scrap leather. As I mold on this, it's gonna harden, and we'll talk about that in just a second. A couple of great benefits there. But also, I can interchange all manner of design, switch them out, drop that in, mold that, so now I've got a pocket with a cool design on it. In fact, one cool idea there I wanna work on is just cut some lattice work leather Lay that in, mold it. Is that a cool? All right, let's not keep rolling. You know, I could stand here an hour and go through that. All right, so pin case again for the front of a front of a briefcase, and again, just scrap leather, easy enough mold to make. Now, let's jump over. This is my cell phone. Now, when I made this, I thought, you know, why am I going to go to all this trouble when I I can mold on my phone? Well, first off, I don't have to mold on my phone. But secondly, as I mold on this, it's going to get wet. It's going to dry, wet, dry. What happens is this becomes pretty hard. So therefore, now I can make my cuts. In fact, you can see where I use this to actually cut in a thumb hole. But also I can punch holes on this. I can do English points, round in. So therefore, I'm not trying to squeeze this down and hope for the best with my measurements. Drop it on there, use my mold. It's gonna come out perfect every time. All right, one more, promise, just one more. Right here, this is leather. This is just baling wire from the hardware store but it makes a cool design. So again, this is one I could switch out, but right here it's just on one ply because I just need that for my flap. In fact, that pocket, that's just a no hardware, no die, no finish pouch. But again, the creativity here, unlimited. These are just basic shapes. Yet again, another avenue in leather, unlimited possibilities. Take that ball and run with it. I hope this is good information for you. Thanks for taking time to watch The Leather Element. Good luck with your projects.